Hello everyone, Bailey and back here again with episode 2 of our brand new career playthrough, this time going with the balanced Razor-like build in the Welterweight Division with Kane the Razor Reed. If you remember the first one, we just broke through, we got our amateur fights done, we are now about to take our first professional fight and we have signed with the WFA, um, which is going to be good. We're going to try and take it all away, get the belt and see what we can do here. So Mr. Kane Razor Reed has got an opponent, three weeks notice, it's not very long, Henry Morreich, I believe you would pronounce it um let's take it three weeks till the fight sim that training camp no problemos right here hey kane i know you already know this but i just wanted to reiterate interacting with your fellow fighters is a good idea build a positive relationship and you might find yourself with a great training partner in the future talk some trash and the fans may be even more hyped up to see you fight right yeah i will keep that in mind coach thank you all right now what I do want to do really quickly is take a quick look at my fighter evolution because this isn't something I've been paying too much attention to um, and I want to see what techniques I've got right here. Now, did I start with a switch kick? I've got a rear elbow but no lead elbow. I've got no spinning elbows. My leg kicks are still very low level as are my roundhouses. I've got no front kicks. I've got a body knee and nothing else in any of these slots either. All right, so we need to find a couple of these UFC fighters that can help teach us some of these moves because right now we don't really have a lot we do have level two arm bars which we have finished and only level one muay thai combinations ah look oh i didn't see this to, to level up your individual combination sections it looks like you need to acquire certain moves here so um requires two level three punches or elbows requires one level three kick or knee ah so any two level three punches or elbows and any one level three kick on knee. Okay, cool. That's nice. So it's not something specific. I don't have to unlock and equip moves to the fighter. I just keep using what I want to use. Fight in that type of a way and it should level up. All right. Yes, very low fight hype here as we step into the training camp. Right. Let's drop in with some sparring. In fact, you know what? I have unlocked some new trunks and shorts. Let's have a quick look if we can't equip something new for uh, training purposes here. Let's have a look. I did get some new tops unlocked. That's kind of... An intense one here. All right, I like the striped gray jersey. Nothing doing. Cover up them tats though, don't we? And let's see if we can't get something nice on the bottom. Got some board shorts here. I got some nice ones. Geometric green. Champ Slayer blue. That's not bad, is it? It's quite a nice little color. And then I've got some of these moving textured ones as well. I don't know about the gold shorts for me right now. Uh, the Valley Tudo. I have a, is a snow leopard print, I think. And then Muay Thai here, we've still got the same. Gladiator, we have the shorts we've been using on BVZ. I don't want to bring them over into here right now. Okay, let's maybe go ahead with the... I have these sort of grey printed board shorts. Let's just equip those for now. I think they'll be okay. And we'll see how we get on like that. Um, right. No problemo. Okay, let's get some training done. All right, we've got our nice rash guard on to protect ourselves from rashes so you might believe and uh, let's dive in here and get some training going we want to try and work our way up to the wfa now guys i'm not in any hurry with this career playthrough i want to take it slow and make the decisions along the way um if you hear any noise in the background my dog has forced itself into the room so i do apologize right we have to hand out some flyers i believe the wfa always got you handing out flyers they want you to know all right that's fine and dandy there and let's go ahead we can do a bit of hype and get one sparring session in so we have jabs spinning kicks clinch transitions bjj reversals or hitting the heavy back jabs and i have to just land combinations now my jab is good but it's not really going to be a big part of my game to be honest whereas i could do some cool clinch moves and i have to land some double leg takedowns all right we'll give this a go my takedown stack clearly is not the best, but I do need to level it up. Let's see if we can shoot some double legs. Uh, I wonder if they count if I get them from the clinch as well. I want you to get Let's just immediately shoot a double leg. Nice, okay. That's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that was easy peasy. Ooh, let's get the free posture up. Bit of ground and pound right here. Nice. And we'll just look to pass as well if we can get a nice deny. And if he's going to keep doing that, then we'll... Um, Oh, nice slip from him. Because he keeps throwing that, that right hand off the back of my head, I'm just going to keep posturing up until he realizes that he shouldn't be throwing that. Nice slips from him, though. And we're back to the feet. Okay, cool. A good chance. Now, I think we've got some core clinch transitions. Set it up. So let's try and get some of those. Can we transition under here? Swim? Or not? It's not really giving me the option here. There we go. A knee, and then let's shoot a double. Ah. Oh, we didn't get that one. All right. Oh, 
Nice from oh, him as oh, well. All right, we'll get a little training on the ground. I'm even going to try and attack that armbar just for the XP because we do love that armbar. I'm going to Let's love go. the armbar a lot more. You know, he's just been more of a triangle guy. Um, in real life, I, I, I'm i quite dexterous. I've got, uh, I'm, I'm about six foot, I've got very long legs, so I, I like to play a little bit of rubber guard, but my first MMA coach always told me that rubber guard was basically a stall. And not that it is that, I mean, there's a lot you can do with it. It, it can turn to that quite quickly if you try and commit to it too much right around. So I do like to play a little rubber guard, but the armbar is what I'm falling in love with now because you can hit it from so many positions. You've got the guard, you can hit it from guard, you can hit it from full mount, you can hit it from, um, uh, back side, you can hit it from um, both hooks in, you can hit the armbar from a lot of different places, so leveling that up is going to be helpful. Right, there we go. A couple of bits and bobs. Alright, here we are. And by the way, I'm sure many of you will fiercely defend the rubber guard in chat. It's fine, it's okay. <laughs> Alright. And let's see here, moving on to the next week. Um, We've got one bit of hype we can do. Let's start next week by perhaps watching some tape. All right. Hey, gang, bet on me in my next fight. I'm training to beat everyone. We, we definitely are. We, we are doing that. Let's say we are doing that. All right. Let's let's uh, let's get some tape watch just so we can get an idea on this fella. And we'll learn what his style is as well. Jiu-Jitsu. Okay. No problem. He'll have to take me down if he wants to sub me. We'll spend another 10 right here. Camp is going great. Can't wait to showcase my skills. You can say that again. Uppercuts, elbows, wrestling get-ups, and leg ups. Let's definitely land three two-strike kick combinations. I would normally refresh, um, but I've only got to do three. So we can definitely mix this up here and probably still get some elbows off as well. Can't really chain elbows and kicks, but we'll jab from the outside, throw some leg kicks, pop some elbows down the middle. I want you to push to the Ooh. Give it everything I see there's one right there. There's another one. Oh, hey. Okay, that counts as well. Right. Let's try and get in real tight here. I don't necessarily want to be... I'm having to try so hard to get these elbows right here. So this can't be right. <laughs> you know, we've got to be careful. Maybe we'll just grab the clinch and then throw some elbows there. There's some elbows. There's another one. That's nice. Even if he gets out of that right now, I'm not too bothered. Landed the elbow there. Nice. I wonder how quickly the elbow levels up. Because it's not something you can hit as often as some of these other techniques, you know? Oh, dear. Dude's just spinning me right there. Ooh. Just make sure we don't take too much damage by walking into range. Just trying to throw elbows. Alright, I can grab that, though. And just some more elbows up the middle. He's doing a good job defending. As long as we're getting some off. Clinch elbows. Yeah, the priority for me right there is just as many as we can land. Oh, we blocked that. Yes. All right, nice. It wasn't too bad. Hard work, hard work, hard work. It wasn't that hard, actually, apart from the fact I can't seem to get anywhere near them. All right, there we go. Evolution points as well. I'm sure we leveled up that elbow a little bit. Body roundhouse leveled up the clinch elbows. There we go. And just a normal elbow. It's a long way to the top, isn't it? You know, I've got to put some training in to unlock these skills sometimes. They are... They don't necessarily come easy and early. You do level up faster in a fight, though, um, by landing the technique, you know, knocking someone down with the technique. You tend to level that move up faster. At least I think I've found that. Maybe I'm going crazy. Right, this is fight week. Um, let's just get two good hard sparring sessions in. Hooks, front kicks, wrestling reversals, and leg chokes right here. Take down and move to half guard. Let's do this wrestling one. I like this. Get some takedowns. We should definitely be mixing everything up as, as much as we can. And I think we have done that in our previous fights. Let's see if we can't shoot. Nice. Oh, dude, I can't believe he didn't. I can't believe we didn't get that. It's a bit crazy. Come on, cut it. Oh, wow. Maybe this guy's defense is a bit better than everyone else's. There we go. Nice. Um, I'm in half guard now, so there we go. Right. Let's see if we can't set up the armbar again here. Which way is it going to go, left or right? I don't think I stopped it. I didn't. Oh, nice from him. Oh, I should have taken... Oh, no, I was going to say, I did get the transition. I wanted to take the free transition and I missed it, but I got it there. Admittedly, it would be nice to have some other techniques, you know, not just the... Uh, the arm bar from these positions, but um, you know, we'll, we'll take what we can for now. 
You know, an arm triangle wouldn't go amiss. That would be lovely. There's an, very little downside to trying to grab an arm triangle. You, you relatively, I, I think you can even, maybe in one of the final stages, they sweep you into half guard. But I think generally you, you maintain top position, even if you don't finish the technique, which is important. Um, time out, but um, like we're working for the armbar. I like it. Let's see if that actually gives me evolution points on the armor. Because we set it up, we hit it. We were working for it. Obviously, we didn't finish it. Let's see. Wrestling reversals, ground hook, BJJ transitions. Armbars, a tiny bit of XP for the armbars. But still, we're almost on level three. So that's good. Just keep working them in small amounts like that until we build it up and build it up. Right, um, one more sparring session. Then we've got a fight already. Nice and early into this episode, right? We should be able to get two in at least. And we get some training in too. It's nice to go through the training and talk to you guys about it and the the motivation let's do that the hooks yeah land combinations all right let's not rush the hooks though be nice and calm and nice and simple play nice and easy with them as well all right all right because when we've been on the inside before trying to land hooks bad things tend to happen Oof. oh man oh Damn, I can't land anything on this guy right now. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Oof. This is boxing class, right? <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. What's happening here? Don't you dare give me a rock, dude. I hate boxing class. I don't know why it's not jabbing. Is it just how slow I am? Damn, I think I've just got terrible punch speed. Because that does not come out very fast at all. I hit the switch, but that's come not what now. we're trying to level up, is it? As long as we're leveling something up. Uh, maybe the lead hook. The lead hook's probably going to definitely be the one that we want to aim for. If we can. There's the lead hook. There. Got around the outside of that. Slipped. To the body. All right, not too bad at all. There better be some improvement on my punches, Coach. I've been working very, very hard, sir. So. Right, nice five evolution points. Nothing to write home about. The, the main thing I'm happy with right now is that we're completing every single training session. We've not failed one. We're managing to move through each of them quite easily, especially on Legendary as well, so that's nice. And each thing we are training has been relevant to the skill we want to level up. Which is even better. Right, 23 evolution points in the bag. 30,000 in the bank. 15 left. Let's hype the fight a little bit. Post to social media. No way that Henry Marais is training harder than me. This fight is mine. I agree. Now, remember, this guy's a jiu-jitsu guy. So I wonder if it would be worth improving our sub-defense or perhaps our bottom game. You know what? Let's do a little kick speed. I like it. Let's land some leg kicks. Make it easier to shoot our own takedowns, which I will definitely be happy to do. Right. Fight week. Henry Marais, 5 and 1. Low hype. WFA, our first professional fight here on the contract. We've got to show the WFA that we have. They have a new star in their hands. And it's me. Reed. Razor Reed. The Razor. Yeah. Uh, every time I've been um, watching a lot of um, uh, yeah, Twitch streams of, of a lot of players who are enjoying the game right now and playing the game, I've not really seen anyone use calves yet, and I've been really, really uh, loving the Razor build uh, that I have on BVZ at 155 and 145. And I really think at some point in this game, we might see a big shift and a bunch of people will start using these creative fires because the archetypes are super fun to play with, and it's so much fun counter-picking as well. So, right, opens up with a round dance to the body. That's mean. Ow. Alright, I want to land my own roundhouse, but I also want to work these body kicks. There's a knee up the middle. Ooh. Keep those leg kicks coming as well. There's a two. Inside leg kick lands nicely. Let's capitalize on that. Always grab that off me here. Let's try and circle out. Can I pummel under? I can. Bam! Shoot the takedown. No, just out of range. Oh, nice for him right there. I hope he doesn't backpack onto me. All right, we're good. And we're out as well. Big inside leg kick with the terrible animation that it is. There's the takedown. Good job by him. Followed through. Just hit the armbar already straight away, right? <laughs> no? Ah, good job by him. 
He's only really digging to the body here, which is quite concerning. If I can get a deny here, if he transitions real quick, I'm pretty sure he would have regenerated all his stamina by now. Oh, he went straight into that one as well. But be careful. Nice fake by him. Let's see which way he's going to go. I'll just elbow from the bomb. Definitely, you know, if when the fight comes here, we won't be looking to stand up. We'll be looking to sub, or in this case, let's actually try and hit that half guard sweep over the top. Just about got it. And let's try and do some more of our own damage now as well. Got to watch his guard and him pulling back into it. Nice. Wow. Baited me with that one. Should have seen that. No worries. Nice elbow there. Opposite side. I found a line that you can use that right hand and hit him with the elbow. And then immediately throw another strike and people will look to posture up because they think you're going to repeat the same action. But Really? Be quite quick with those, to be honest. Oh, I did an immediate gallop, and I, I'm not sure why. Reactions, perhaps. Nice bait of that out. Bam. Oh, I can't wait till we have some decent striking techniques, guys. It's going to be nice. After playing online for a bit, I'm definitely feeling it right now. I thought that was a push kick. Apparently, I don't have one. Nice. Oh, I was hoping we could lock our own clinch up there. Oh, that was him. Oh, I didn't like that. And we're here as well. Let's just get out now. Happy to exchange in the clinch, but not when it ends up here like this. Nice takedown, man. Oof, good job. Follow through. Now, I think that's a, a backwards animation, as in he's driving me backwards. Because you can turn. Um, you can just shoot takedown. You can turn on the takedown. Or you can just drive backwards. And I think when you drive backwards, I need to push back on this stick and try and hit that sprawl denial. But you know what? There's a lot of nuances to the takedown. It's not just your opponent shooting a takedown. It's what direction are they moving and all kinds of other things in play that you've got to try and read as well. So it's a bit harder to defend takedowns. You've got more variety and animation and ways to set them up as well. So it's really nice. There's the armbar towards the end. Didn't land it, but we put him on notice. Moving into the second. The guy's done well to get this far, if you ask me. No touch. That's fine. Oh. Hey, got to be careful there. <laughs> My leg kicks are so low. These leg kicks, but we got to keep working them. We're not going to level them up otherwise, are we? There's another one. Outside. One, two. Ooh, that was a bit risky for me. Knee. Let's grab the clinch. Oof. Elbow. Let's get a knee to the body. Elbow over the top. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh. There, of course, he's going to finish that. Good job. In full guard, though. Straight back to the armbar every time. If they want to come here and they want to play, they're going to have to play. It seems a bit cheeky because I feel like the AI is just doing a terrible job of denying my armbar attempts. Obviously, there's quite a lot of stamina, so it's hard to finish it. But uh, they're not really denying them. And also, when they do the slam, which will be coming up in a second, they tend to hit it quite quickly. No, no more slams. I've rolled. Only strikes for me now. There it is. Going to keep filling it up. Little short shots. Come on, chase it down, Reed. Chase it down. Take it home. Put in your trophy cabinet with the others. There's a nice tap on the thigh. Beautiful. Another armbar finish. I don't know what to say, guys. Level three armbars. I mean, they keep taking me down. And I just keep summoning them off the back. It's not really that difficult. I mean, I almost feel like I should stop doing it. Because it seems a little, a little cheesy. A little cheeky, you know? We're just defending and immediately hitting the sub. So, maybe we'll... Uh, wrap our head around another way to to get these wins but if they keep taking me down I keep leveling the arm bars it's good to be good off your back in such a situation and there it is right there loving it Reed gets another win well fought Mr. Razor Reed alright another sub ooh five grand was that my win bonus what was that for ten evolution points as well and one move update I want to see how much the, uh, the arm bar leveled up there as well got the finish let's have a look so six grand for the win, no injuries, and one move evolution. Arm bars leveled up, of course, to level three. Lovely. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder what they're going to be like. We're hitting them already. I think we're pretty much okay to just arm bar our way through the entire WFA. I'm not going to, but if they, it's really hard because I, I, I you know, I can, I can RP this in a way and play as the build. But if someone gives me an arm bar, I should just take it. So I am. <laughs> That's what we're doing. All right, let's get another one in. It's sim to the next fight right here. And still, blessed MMA defends against T-City. Lovely. Good job, Maxi. All right. 
And here we have our next opponent, Jeff Davidson. Still unranked right here. Three weeks out, that's nice and short. Let's get in and move. Time to bring some fresh blood to the gym. Want me to make some phone calls? Um, sure. Let's have a look. Who've we got, coach? I mean, I don't have a lot of money. But can I afford anybody? I can afford this, which is a... Oh. A lead spinning sidekick. Or a lead spinning heel kick. I kind of want to throw off the back foot. And I don't think the Razor has this move. So I'm only going to try and equip moves that uh, this build has. Because I don't want to get into the habit of using a move that I don't actually have. Uh, Alright, perfect. Did someone just DM me? What is this? Who tweeted at me? It ain't going to be a good night for you, Razor MMA. But hey, don't let one fight define you. Listen here, mate. Okay. You've never let your 800 losses define you. He may be, um... He may actually be undefeated i think so uh let's watch a little tape all right one and a half star overall that's not great is it I promote the fight as we have to we're spending some training camp time doing all this i'm trying to get some fat it almost feels like it's not necessary but it's i think we get fined if we don't do the obligatory obligatory uh, promotions watch tape right here again move to the left he is a boxer no problem we can really try and get our leg kick game going strong against a the boxer then the problem i'm finding though is if we get to commit to these leg kicks people do just tend to step through and, and blast you in the face um greco takedowns and land single leg takedowns okay greco takedowns i think we would have to get the body to body clinch i don't know if we could take the back and get a greco takedown um i guess i can shoot and then bail on it get the takedown that's a single leg let's just get up here let's see if we can't get some oh no we're not going to do that fine i'm just going to take shots from the bottom apparently come on then oh this is this is wrestling practice dude let's get some wrestling in and some greco-roman wrestling at that so i think i'm going to try and shoot the takedown and I should bail on it. Oh, well, I didn't need to do that because apparently we just nailed the uh, the double leg again there. This isn't a very good training partner, I'm not going to lie, because he keeps doing the same thing. Throwing the, uh, the elbow with that hand, it gives me a free posture up. Just slip around, dodge, and then we got this. Let's transition here. Now, that's not a Greco. That's just a an ankle pick but if i push him to the cage maybe the thing is i can't really take him to the, the cage here. there isn't there isn't a cage to take him to oh did i just get guillotined dude that was nice that was nice by him i mean i got the takedown oh we can von flu step over that's nice is this traditional chokes leveling up maybe we didn't get any greco takedown experience but uh, we got some normal takedown experience and we completed the challenge as well so that's all right fine. you had a little trouble today but don't i didn't have trouble coach davis were you watching my practice I have no faith in you if that's your attitude. 13 evolution updates and the challenge, Davis. We did fine, mate. Wrestling takedowns to the straight level up as well. All right. A lot of stuff is still one star. We need to get those grappling stats up, people. Mm. I wonder if they sort of... I think the amount of evolution points you gain also increases as you level up as well. I might be wrong. Like the deeper you get into the career mode in the camp. Superman traditional kicks here as well. Escape the clinch. What is traditional kicks? Is it down here somewhere? I could just hit the heavy bag. 10 three strike roundhouse combinations. 800 damage. Damage and kicks to like It's going to be hard, but we'll do it. Any kind of damage is, is always a little suspect, I've found. Just because it's based on your power stand. And, heavy punches. and things like that. Oh, come on. All right. This may or may not be the fastest one I've got. But I do also want to conserve stamina. And just go at a nice steady pace. And I'd rather do it right than make it look flashy at this point. Remember, okay. Repetition is key. And it always pays off. So let's go. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. Like 800 damage is quite a lot, you know. Especially if we... I'm hoping if I duck and swing some of these in. Oh. Even now, it's still not doing a lot, is it? 30 seconds, I still haven't even done the second one yet. This is the damage one is... So rough. Maybe I should have thrown more... Leg kicks. 
There's gonna be no match for you. I mean, look at that. Three damage with a leg kick. Ten. With the straight, it's still less than ten. It's better to just sit and blast, but then have to throw 25 of them to get 250 if we're only doing ten damage with leg kicks. Yeah, it's kind of hard to finish. We got four points, though, and we got some slight evolution updates to everything that we threw and landed as well. That body hook, that was the first time we've been training it, damn. Yeah, it's kind of risky to just duck right under and loop that big rear hand around. Especially if you're southpaw and they just hit you with a rear uppercut, they will just knock your head off. But uh, we leveled it up a little bit there. I guess we probably just need a bit more power to complete those. Right, let's simulate to the next week. I could have hyped the fight. I guess I either forgot to or chose not to. You pick uppercuts, cage kicks, clinch transitions, BJJ gallops. Body strikes against BJJ, land any strike in the clinch. Let's do this. The clinch is good. The clinch is your friend, everybody. The clinch is your ally in times of war and mixed martial arts. Okay. Ooh. No takedown, mate. We're not, we're not taking down. What are you talking about? I've got to actually land these strikes in the clinch as well. Oh. Nice job. It's not just uh, throw them, which has actually been a little bit difficult right now. Although he's making it a bit easier with where he is right now. The whole switch away from Southpaw thing there just totally confused me. Damn it, man. He's doing a good job of throwing the... There we go. Okay, that's nice. Knees to the body. Knees to the head. Knees to the body. Trying to disguise it as well. Oh, that's nice. Okay, there we go. Clinch transitions. Oh, I was going to... Uh, I was going to nail that. But he did it to me. It's, there we go. Who's got clinch transitions now? Me. Nice takedown, though. Ooh. Hey. Oh, we got that. Blimey. Let's go straight back. Where's your posture up? Nope. Nothing there. As long as we're doing some kind of grappling on the ground, we're doing all right, I think. Must have leveled up the clinch transitions just a little bit. Nice, nice, nice. I like the little crown on our rash guard here as well. Okay, inspiring challenges, move evolutions. Easy peasy, easy money. Clinch knees to the head, lead collar, collar tie right there as well. Yep, nice. Let's look to implement that in the fight, as they say. Or, the, I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're training for. Um, right, I think, uh, I think that might be it. Do we have one more? We've got 55 points left. We can do one more session. Or we can try and invite a fighter. No, let's just do nice and nice sessions. You could do more clinching, to be honest. I was kind of enjoying that. Throw strikes against a wrestler. Let's do another clinch session. It's always wise to just learn what you uh, don't understand so far. I want to try this. We're going to grapple her, break, and throw an uppercut. Didn't work, though. Do these count as strikes? No, they don't. Okay. No problem. Beautiful combination. Ooh. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Ooh, nice takedown again. All right. I mean, there's an armbar right here. I know I know we're not training armbars, but I, I've just sunk one in, and I think I'm going to get it. So let's just do it for the armbar XP. Just all them denies. I know the, the AI is telling him to stand up. I'm probably going to fail the challenge, but I'll take it for some free armbar XP at this point. Where's my strike throwing? We've passed. There we go. Nice work. And that counts as a sub, and he should probably just stand up. Yeah, we'll let him have that. Right, we've got to throw some strikes. Let's just throw a bunch of one-twos. Okay, not if he keeps doing that. Jesus. Come on, mate. Okay, that's some better get-ups for me. I don't know why he was constantly shooting. Oh, because he's a wrestler, right? That's why we have to... Okay, now I kind of get the point of the training. It's like, try and land strikes against a wrestler. Oh. Oof, just trying to throw them. I don't think we're going to get them all out there. That's fine, though. Dude, we just bailed and smashed him at the end. <laughs> Didn't do the challenge. Let me see if I've got some armbar XP, though. I just hit level three, so I imagine it's sort of shimmying along. Oh, wow, that's quite a lot of armbar XP. I guess you don't have to land that many. BJJ get ups. Nice. Okay, continue. Certainly moving along nicely. If only we could level up our leg kicks and things now. I think kick speed is something I do want to level up because it is going to help me land them. 
power would be important, but I'm trying to just level up the techniques. I feel like if I, as long as I'm landing them, I'll level them up, right? Let's do some fire revolution ahead of our next WFA about. Let's do one in kick speed. I honestly feel like I should do something. I could put one in takedown defense as well. I'd rather put one in clinch. Clinch grappling here as well. All right, cool. Damn, we really don't get to level a lot up, you know? <laughs> We're trying, but we, we haven't got any. We didn't watch any tape on this. I think I feel like we did. Jeff Davidson, he's a boxer, 9-0. and He's been talking all the trash on the Twitters. You know, it's, a, it's supposed to be a platform for nice and self, you know, pr promotion. I don't know what I'm saying, but not the trash talking there, Mr. Davis. We're going to make him pay nice and whatever we can. Now, he's a boxer, so let's try and land the leg kicks. I just got to be really careful because if I'm throwing the naked leg kicks and not setting them up, pretty sure he'll just step through and blast me with a one-two down the middle. Uh, he's six foot one. Nice. I've got the reach advantage, though, so that's good. All right, leg kicks inside, outside. And watch the one-two and that, that sniper-like right hand that I know he possesses. They all have it, these boxers. Nice. Opens up with a spinning elbow. Some boxer. He landed that. I want to know if there's a specific calf kick animation. I know that there is a calf kick because I've seen people throw it. I wonder if I can learn it. Nice. Oh. Again. Oop. And we're going to just keep landing these leg kicks and use them to uh, set up the uh, the takedowns later on. Ooh. Nice by him. God, he's spinning a lot, isn't he? Ah, oh, I thought I'd just step into range there. Ooh, just on the outside here. Of all of these. All right. <laughs> he, he really loves that, doesn't he? I can't believe we're whiffing on those. Big right hand. Oh my goodness. Just out of range every time there. Oh, damn. Can't believe he's getting them off. All right. He's not running and we're fine. Can I transition, please? Sometimes it doesn't. It really doesn't. I don't know. Sometimes I don't understand that. I think it might be based on stamina or grapple advantage because I'm pressing the button to transition after blocking a strike, and we don't uh, we don't get the the transition. We just stand there, or we throw a strike instead. And what I want to do is transition and uh, put him in that over under. Oof! Didn't mean to throw that on the break. Was trying to throw an elbow over the top instead. Oh, that's what I talked about there when he steps forward with that. Nice from him. Oof. Double sided spinning back fist. Who wrote the AI on this guy? <laughs> nice. Return though. Hey, can't believe you blocked that. Oh, I'm also taking some damage on my leg now as well. I'm just trying to land it, man. Oof. Got the body shot in there. It's about it for now. He's just so on the outer range of these. Makes it a little bit a little bit difficult to connect and they check again there. So what happens when you're trying to learn too many leg kicks, but you're trying to level up your leg kick, you know? Hey. Both both legs getting rocked now. Maybe I should just give up the leg kicks. <laughs> just try and land something else. There we go. Now give me the Oh, yeah. Tried to finish it. Landed that. I didn't know. Oh, nice by him. Almost got stepped into for that. And he jabbed through, trying to stop that leg kick I threw at the end there. Luckily, I bailed on it. Man, I took a lot of leg damage. But it's only because my, you know, my leg kick speed and my leg kick animation is so bad. And it's going to be bad until we keep landing it. So, back to the drawing board on that one. Oof. Ooh. Ooh, just out of range on that. Oh, man. Yeah. And my kick speed went down as well. Dude, that's not nice. All that leveling I did. Maybe we should just look to take him down now. Dude is, uh, dude's prepared right there. Oops. Landed the outside leg kick. There we go. 
Okay, I think it's much better just to walk up to them now. I keep trying to throw and dive on them whenever I'm in that position. But I think it's much better just to literally walk up to them and, and close the distance into stack guard. Because it's a bit too risky trying to just dive. Sometimes you don't do anything. Let's just hold him here, though. Nice ground and pound. Till he can find his way out. Nice short shots. Little hammer fists. Body, body, head. Oh, no. Nothing doing. We're not doing any of that. Let's try again here. Oh. There we go. Okay. Nice little shots. Step into mount. This is the second round here, so these are all good points on the board. Hit the armbar from the side, from the back. Let's go. Backside. Every time, man. I mean, just forcing them to turtle. Or just taking them out and out battling the stamina. And even the jujitsu guy couldn't hang. We'll see if the boxer can. I don't mean to end the fight every way, guys. It is kind of ending the same way every time, but I'm here. I'm on the ground. He t I did trip him down. But I've got the armbar. It's just there every time for me. So I just keep grabbing it. At least we're taking it from different positions. You know, we've got like armbars we're hitting from guard. Armbars I'm hitting from full mount. And armbars I'm hitting from the back as well. So we're hitting every single type of armbar you possibly can. Here was a nice sweep. Kicked the legs out from underneath. Lovely work right there. Walked him back. And there's the armbar as well. Yeah, the knees do need to go together there. We've got to trap that wrist and point that thumb up a little bit more. But there we go. Nice. Well done. Another win. Another victory there for Razor Reed. Okay, guys. Two more wins. Two more armbars. I, I honestly, I hope you aren't upset with me <laughs> that I keep winning by armbar. I'm trying to mix up the whole fight anyway. Not just, obviously, hunt, seek down, take the arm. I don't really have any other submissions right now. I guess I do have some chokes I could hit, but the armbar is leveling up so nicely. So I'm going to keep hitting it. If it's there, I'm going to keep hitting it. And we keep getting it. That was medium hype. Another win. That's 2-0. and We're on 90 day medical suspension. And we did injure our leg, which is going to drain our kick speed and our leg health. But apart from that, a nice win in the bag. Once again, for Razor Reed, two on this episode. Nice and a good way to keep us moving here. Uh, episode two, episode three coming tomorrow as well, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I am live on there as well. And uh, thank you, guys. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.